What is up guys, my name is Don, welcome to Don's Gun Corner. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this little beaut right here. This is the Canik Meta SFT. Just so you guys ain't bitching. Ah! I swore within the first minute, whatever, I'm not redoing this. This is my fourth time filming this and I don't know how to edit, so there are one takes. The Canik Meta SFT is a phenomenal handgun for the price point. I'm going to start off right there. Buy one if you can. If you want one, pull that trigger. Go buy it. It is a, f it's a great gun. I love it. And that's coming from someone I don't like handguns. I don't, I don't think handguns are safe. I'm more terrified of a handgun than a fucking loaded 12 gauge pointed at my face. And that's an unloaded 9mm. These things are just, mmm. At least new ones, polymer frames and stuff like that. I, I'm an old timer, and a young timer's body. So, yeah. Uh, right off the bat, um, you know, it's a great gun. As you can see, mine is Cerakoted. It's got a red dot on it as well. I've got my magwell installed on it, which is cool. These do come with a magwell from the box. Um, you got nice extended side releases. You got a pretty phenomenal mag release right here. Um, it is rear mount ready right from the fa uh, box. And obviously I've got a right in MPR D2 I think it's called in here. I don't know the name of the site exactly. It's a decent little red dot anyways. But I don't like red dots, and honestly, I'm going to be taking it off. <sighs> the trigger. Let's talk about the trigger. The trigger on this gun. I'm going to just start off right here. That's one of the nicest returns. I mean, even this, I mean, you got, you got a little bit of that, but once you hit that wall, you're there. And it's a six pound trigger. To, I think it, they say it's six pound trigger, but after use, it can work itself all the way down to like a four and three quarter pounder. It's a great trigger. One of the best triggers from a, st a striker-fired pistol on the market. And, I mean, I'm most definitely one of the greatest, if not the best, trigger from a striker-fired pistol out of the box. Uh, $550. Okay, so $450 to $600 is what I'm going to say the price range is on this handgun because shops vary and stuff. And you get two magazines. Both carry 18 rounds. One of them carries 20 rounds. You get a magwell, and you get, you know, a nice little setup here. This is what came in the box specifically with my SFT. Um, you got another back strap here. You've got the pin pusher. You got your um, <laughs> little pistol here actually is your tool for taking apart your gun, switching back straps and stuff. So that's cool. And it holds all your, like, little bits in there. You got, like, your mount sights and stuff. Are your mount screws and stuff in here and your uh, bits and then it comes with a bore brush and it also comes with a patch holder for cleaning it does come with a serviceable but not phenomenal holster uh it's definitely a decent holster like don't get me wrong for coming with the gun it's like you can't go wrong with it i i have I own three pistol holsters, and I only have this one sidearm right now is my personal sidearm. And I don't even use one of them that I bought separately at all anymore because this is just, it's nice actually. It works well, especially if you're wearing basketball shorts or sweatpants and stuff. It's great for lounging around or if you're walking around town on a really hot day and you don't have jean shorts, so you have to wear your basketball shorts. And then this is where your 20 uh, round magazine is obviously going to sit right here. And then your other magazine comes in the pistol. Empty, obviously, but. 
So that's what's in the box. Um, yeah, so you got two magazines that come with the gun. You got an eight, uh, an eighteen rounder, and then a nine or twenty rounder. Uh, as you can see, I carry that twenty rounder with my ammunition because when I'm open carrying and stuff, I want my gun to look as sharp as possible. And like, how does that not look good? Like, you got a seracoded pistol. You got a rear mount red dot, you got an extended magazine, a nice freaking mag well, you got aggressive side serrations, both front and back. This gun is, it's a great pistol, guys. For in the price point, I can't really think, my biggest pet peeve about Canix and the Meadows, it doesn't have a trigger, or it doesn't have a safety on it. It's got a trigger safety right here. Which is nice and all that, and I will give them that. I like the fact that. Hmm? I like the fact that they actually got a good, you know, trigger safety on this, and they've made it really thin, and also the red looks nice. It's a nice. It's a very um, aesthetically pleasing pistol, if I'm gonna buy it, uh, be honest with you. I only bought it because of the fucking way it looks, the Cerakote. I mean, I knew the Meta SF, the Meta to be a good gun. So I seen the Cerakote first, and I was like, ooh, what is that? And then I was like, oh, it's a Meta. Okay, bet. I traded in my other two pistols. No, I think I traded in one of my pistols and put some money to it as well. Um, I don't right now have the means of income to sit there and continuously buy new guns. I've got to trade in and stuff, which I do do, um, you know, and I will be doing. So, yeah, as I was saying, it's, you know, you got rear mounts here. You got your rear mount ready. You got aggressive side serrations. I'm going to be honest with you. These side serrations up front are phenomenal. Makes it super awesome, especially if you have red dot. Those front serrations, uh, they're not letting go of your hand. And another awesome thing I love about these is the meta. They have made the rear mount or the rear sights actually push back and shorter, so that way you can sit there and have a red dot like I do, and also still have your rear iron sights, which is great, because I'm going to be honest with you, I can't fucking use this red dot to save my life. If I was relying on this red dot to save my life, I'd be dead. I'd be dead. I have proven it time and time again. I've taken this gun out, and like, I know what you're thinking, Don, why don't you take the red dot off? I bought the red dot specifically for this gun, and I'm going to just trade them in both together when I go to trade in. And I'm going to buy another meta at some point in time, but I'm probably going to go buy just... Mm, I don't know. It's a good gun. I don't want to get rid of it. The reason why I'm getting rid of it, guys, is because there's a 1911... Oh, well, actually, it's a 2011 since it's double stack. 2011, uh, Rock Island 2011, chambered in 9mm at my local gun store, and I've been looking for one for a while. It's got skeletonized hammer and trigger. Uh, it's pretty... It's a great gun. It's a 1911. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean... That's my... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my biggest pet peeve. My second biggest pet peeve is about, um, Canix. They're fucking too cheap. Honestly, Canix, you guys, like, that's good. That you guys make a budget firearm. But for as to someone who's like me, I want to try to sit here and... I want to get out of being a blue collar worker one day. I want to sit here and do content creation or some sort of way of using content as into what I do in my life. Right now I work as a stainless steel worker and it fucking sucks. I'm miserable, unhappy. I just not I make somewhat decent money enough to where I can buy guns relatively frequently while also setting myself back in other spots like food and stuff so I am young and I gotta figure out my spending habits and all that so while I'm oh tangents anyways you got double undercut uh, you got double undercuts on this trigger 
so you can get a really nice, comfortable grip on it. It is really hard not to sit here. It is a comfortable gun to hold. So much for a pistol. I don't like pistols. I no, I'm not a pistol guy. So for the overall review of the Canic Meta SFT, that being said, my one big pet peeve was no safety. Uh, I'm pretty sure I already touched on the extended slide releases. You know, Amber Dextrous slide releases. Um, oh, this is really weird. So for the meta, to field strip it, what you do is actually like this, side back, push forward like any other sidearm, lift up, not push forward. And also another thing about this is when you're cleaning your um, mechanic meta and while mine's disassembled, your recoil screen right here, it's gonna, when you go to put it back in, is that it's gonna sit like this on that first ledge. You gotta push it down to that second ledge, otherwise you're not gonna be able to slide your gun back all the way. Uh, I thought I broke my canic the first time I took it apart and I did that. So while I was popped apart and it crossed my mind, figured I'd let you guys know. Your gun's not broken, just don't be stupid. Make sure it's on that second drop and it'll work flawless. There we go. That's tore apart, put back together. Um, and then yeah, they got a striker indicator, obviously. So that is my review on the Canic Meta SFT. It is a decent little gun, a great budget shooter, and I would recommend buying one if you have the money for it. Um. But if you have the money for a 1911, I'm also going to tell you, buy one of those before it. Why? I'm a 1911 guy. I like my old guns. And, yeah, I'm going to die on this. So, I think shit shouldn't have stayed the way it was. AKs, 1911s, and the old freaking Remington 870s, and pump, mast or pump masters, and shit like that, you know? Rough riders. And I grew up an old-timer. I grew up a cowboy, so... I kind of got my ties and my biases long time made, so. It's a great gun, fun shooter, best trigger on the striker fire trigger on the market, probably. Great price point. What can I say about it? Kanek, you guys did a fucking great job. Maybe add safeties to your guns. That's my only thing. Thank you guys for watching Don's Gun Corner, and that was my review on the Medic SFT once again. And greatly appreciate you stopping by and listening to me ramble.